Oh man, so many controllers. How does it work? Four player. Going to explain it in this video. Stay tuned. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Pandora Game 3D. I already did a full review, so check it out on the channel if you didn't see it. But in this video, I want to focus on how to connect four players controllers on this device and what kind of controls can we use and how do we need to set it up. Okay, so consider subscribing, hit the little bell and let's go and let's check out what do we need. Okie dokie, so the first thing that we're going to need are USB hubs. I'm having a 3.0 or 2.0, try them both before making the video and it's not a big problem. You can use both of them, but the reason why we're going to need them is very simple because only one port can be used for the controllers and that's the reason for four player that we're going to need an USB hub. All right, so what kind of controls can we use? So we're having the basic PlayStation 2 knockoff controller. They are not the best, but most of the time they are going to get sold with these Pandora's boxes. Then we're having the Ucom edition. The Ucom, as you can see, this is very convenient. We're having two controllers, but only one needs to be connected. So basically, if you just want to play with two players, this is just good enough. All right, so we have another fake version, the same one that I've already shown you. We're having the Ucom. This is the version with an single USB connection but it's just one controller and I tried it and yes we can also use the Xbox 360 controller that we're going to see and check out in this channel oh yeah because I'm a big fan of the controller all right and also we're going to try out this USB controller it's the most horrible controller I've ever seen from China here's a d-pad <laughs> this is really bad but we're going to try it i'm going to try to configure it with the four player option okay so we're going to grab some other controllers otherwise this video will be 20 minutes long okay let's grab the pandora box and i'm going to show you how it's been done but the question remains can we also use original controllers that is also what we're going to do we're going to use the playstation 4 playstation 3 controller i also have a playstation 4 fake i have some other bootlegs already shown you and of course the xbox 360 so the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to the menu itself, the tiny button that you can find on the back of the Pandora box. Press this bad boy, simply because when you're pressing it, we're going to get into the setting menu. That is where we're going to need to be. Okay, so the next step, we're going to connect a controller. Okay, so we're going to use the USB 3.0 hub in this video. Next up, let's try the Xbox 360 controller. As you can see, we're still in the setting menu. I'm going to show you where you need to be because you need to do some reconfiguration with different controllers. All right, so it's booted up. We're going to go to the key settings. As you can see, the controller works fine now. Then we're going to the, the gamepad settings and the reason why, now we can see if the controller has been recognized. Next up, let's try the horrible Chinese controller. All right, let's stick it in port number four. It doesn't even matter which port you're going to stick it in because it will get recognized. It will be recognized as player two. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do, we're going to try the dual controllers with the one plug and it will be recognized like two controllers. All right, let's stick it in. And as you can see, everything is configured like player one, two, three, and four. If you're having a problem with this, you can always use the D-pad and press left or right and give the player one, two, three, four to insert the controller. All right, so I did some messing around with original Xbox and PlayStation controls, but the PlayStation is a strange story. As you can see that the controller itself, it has been recognized by the system over there, but it doesn't do anything. As you can see, there is no movement and now it's keep disconnecting. I tried different cables. So if this is a cipher error or there is something wrong with my cable or controllers, that is something is a little bit of a problem so i just wanted to show you that i can connect it it does recognize it but at the end there is nothing no movement but there's something else that is a little bit problem when you're looking at the controller itself so everything is not mapped correctly so there's something you need to take consideration the d-pad works fine but select and start and not over here but this is the r2 and the f button and the select and start over here so this is a little bit messed up but the playstation or the fake playstation 4 controller does work yeah but okay so enough chit chat about the controls the ones that will do work are not working so next up let's go to the gamepad settings i just want to check if everything is correctly configured now everything doesn't work plug and play doesn't remember so far i can see so let's put this on control three controller four 
the disk and controller number two and the Microsoft Xbox I'm holding over here is going to be the player number one. Okay, so let's boot up a game, double check. Yep, it does work. And let's see if we can play a four player game with four controllers. Okay, so let's try the first game. This is a three player game. Let's see if it works. Okay, player one is over here. Let's try the second player is over here. We're going to use the PlayStation controller number four over here. So as you can see, all the controls have been recognized very well. Okay. All right. As you, all the functionalities are here. Play one. All right. Play number three. Okay, and as you can see also player 3 is working So as you can see guys, it seems to be working even with three different controllers is not going to be a problem Next up different game four players. Okay Nothing play two Well, but I can see I'm afraid it is not a version for the four player edition. All right, so let's try another game. This is the four player edition of The Simpsons, if I'm right. Uh, I know what's going on, but that was not good. Okay, as you can see, we can now press start. This is the four play edition. Let's see. All right, Lisa's joining. And indeed, all the controls work perfectly. So also the four player function works very well. All right, so this is what you can do with the Pandora game 3D Plus. I just wanted to make this video. I did notice a lot of people were requesting this in the past with the previous models, but we're very limited when it comes to controllers and Pandora's boxes. The Pandora game 3D Plus is the latest edition. Just did a review about it. And yeah, this is what you can do with it. With the new version, we can use fake places for controllers. We can use the Xbox 360 controls. I did try with the old model, but didn't recognize a lot of controls. So keep in mind, if you're buying or having the old Pandora game 3D, most of the time you can only use fake UCOM or fake places 2 controls from China. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this. Is this working for you? I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.